For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The 8th Congress of the Communist Party of Cuba concluded on April 19th. It was the Congress for the historical continuity of the Cuban Revolution. One of the key objectives of this conference was to define the continuity and irreversibility of the Cuban revolutionary process. This continuity of the revolution requires the passing of the baton from the historical generation to the younger and committed generations of Cartos. As part of this process, Raul Castro, the first secretary of the party, stepped down from his post. He stated that he was one of those from the historic generation who would be transitioning out of the party. The four-day-long conference was attended by 300 Cartoran leaders who represented the over 700,000 militants of the party. It was the first Congress held since the death of Fidel Castro on November 25, 2016. The Congress coincided with the 60-year anniversary of the US-sponsored invasion of Playa Giron and the subsequent Cuban victory against US imperialism, as well as the declaration by Fidel Castro of the socialist nature of the Cuban Revolution. This Congress took place amid complex economic challenges. On the one hand, the COVID-19 pandemic continues to wreak havoc on people's lives and the economy. On the other, the unprecedented resurgence of the economic blockade by the United States means Cuban people continue to suffer the consequences. However, despite the adverse conditions, Cuba persists. It is waging a battle not only for the survival of its own people, but also for all of humanity by creating the first and only vaccine in Latin America and the Caribbean. The other key objective of the historical gathering was to evaluate the social economic progress of the country since the 7th Congress held in April 2016. In accordance with these, plans to continue the social economic development of the country were developed. This was in addition to the task of developing young and diverse Carter to continue the necessary task of deepening the revolution. In his opening speech, Castro stated that the Cuban economy in the last five years has shown capacity for resistance in response to obstacles presented by the intensified economic, commercial and financial blockade imposed by the United States. He also said that despite how the challenges faced by the Cuban economy multiplied over the last year, the global health crisis has proven the necessity for the Cuban model. In case there were doubts, we must recognize that neoliberalism once again showed its incapacity to respond to the social problems of the region. Its role in the dismantling of structures of social justice and a doctrine attack on any notion of social justice left the majority of countries impotent and defenseless against the scourge of COVID-19, he declared. On Monday, April 19, the composition of the Central Committee and the Politburo of the party were announced with current president of the country, Miguel Diaz Canel Bermudez, being elected as the first secretary of the party. Following his election as first secretary, Diaz Canel gave a speech to bring an end to the four days of reflection and debate. He affirmed that the success of the revolution depends on the capacity to be in dialogue with the population, excite the citizens and rebuild values, conscious that democracy becomes more socialist when it is more participatory. He further stated that Cuba has given a lesson to the world of how political will and the humanitarian position of the revolution, along with public policies that put human beings at the center, can successfully confront problems as complex as the COVID-19 pandemic. The Congress concluded with a ceremony to remember the lives lost at Playa Giron and all the others lost to US imperialist attacks. With the 8th Congress, the Communist Party of Cuba once again affirmed the ideological nature of the revolution and renewed the strategic objectives and plans to ensure the continuity of the process. As Raul Castro said during his opening speech, the commitment of Cuba with the unity of Latin America and the Caribbean is immovable. The loyalty in defense of sovereignty and the right to free self-determination by the peoples is a principle of the revolution and the will to promote cooperation and regional integration is part of our cause.